A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. A tabernacle was constructed, the outer one, in which were the lampstand, the table, and the bread of offering. This is called the holy place. Behind the second veil was the tabernacle called the holy of holies. But when Christ came as high priest of the good things that have came, come to be, passing through the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made by hands, that is, not belonging to this creation, he entered once for all into the sanctuary, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of a heifer's ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living God? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord the Most High, the awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For king of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets to the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came with his disciples into the house. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Gospel always strikes me. <laughs> One, it's just, it's so short and it's so interesting uh, that this would be all that the lectionary and the church chooses to include. Uh, just a simple, this simple message. There's nothing, no saying from the Lord. Just the reality that a huge, a huge crowd gathered uh, so much that Jesus couldn't even eat within the house. So people are not just outside the the house and, and flooding the streets. Uh, which is the case of when the paralytic has to be lowered through the roof. But here they've infiltrated the house. They're, they're inside. Jesus can't even sit down at the table. He can't even, you know, they didn't have refrigerators then. But imagine not even be able to go from your, your living room or your dining room table into the kitchen uh, to get food because there's so many people there. The inside of your house has become a public marketplace. And this is uh, so striking that the relatives of the Lord think that he's lost his mind. Uh, he's let people into his inner sanctum. But that's, that's just how generous God is. He's not out of his mind. In fact, he's, he's in his heart. Not out of the mind. He's in the heart. This is where he wants to be. That is, he wants all of us and so many of us to, to flood his his private space, because it's not really his private space. And he wants it so that he can't even, he can't even eat. He needs to tend to us. There's so many people around, he can't even move. That just shows you again how generous, how generous God is. The heart of God is revealed. And that's what the letter to the Hebrews is saying. Christ is, replaced himself with those animals that were slaughtered in the temple of Jerusalem. The blood of goats and, and bulls and heifers' ashes needed to be, to be sprinkled for the, the redemption to be made, but no more animals need to be offered. Christ wants to pour himself out, his blood, and he wants us to be in the depths of his home, in his heart. Amen.